That's a quick look at the front page. Oh, I was going to do that. Oh, do you, you go on, you do. Should it. I talk about yeah. this? Um, Sadness in our household yesterday about yeah, this one as well. Absolutely. And this is about Monty Don's, a beloved dog. Um, lots of you will know all about um, Monty Don, Don's dog, Nigel. And there he is um, as a puppy. Look, gorgeous dog. And he was very much part of the whole programme, wasn't it? Uh, Gardener's World. Um, he's 11 years old. He died yesterday. He enchanted millions of viewers uh, with his antics and helped his owner, Monty Don, as well, um, cope with depression. Um, he was a big star in Gardener's World. Um, I know he had an accident as well, didn't he, at some point? Um, his death was announced yesterday in this emotional online tribute by his owner, uh, Monty Don. He wrote on Twitter, he slipped quietly away with no pain or suffering, is now buried in the garden with lots of tennis balls. Rest now, old friend. See you in the sweet by and by. Um, so uh, yeah, he loved tennis balls as well, didn't he? He was really, yeah. you know, really much loved and causing lots of people. Look, you're even quoted in this, Dan. Am I? Yeah. What did I say? <laughs> <laughs> I just I noticed. Can't, I can't quite. Oh, no. Dan yeah. Walker, look. BBC Breakfast presenter Dan Walker wrote, Sorry, Monty. He was much loved part of the Gardener's World experience. Wasn't well, he, indeed? He used to love it when Monty would walk through camera and then Nigel would sort of just plod along behind him. So Yeah, he, and he, he, Monty Donder, he talked quite a lot about um, how gardening helps stave off depression, but also um, Nigel as well.